Excellent. So, hi guys. So today I'm uh, having a very special guest interview with the man that you can see in front of me, which is uh, Mr. Markwell Russell. Hi Markwell, how are you doing? Hey Graham, how you doing man? I'm glad to be here. Thanks for having me on. Wonderful, excellent. Looking rather good, if I don't mind you saying. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Excellent. So, uh, Mark, well, for the people that uh, are just viewing this for the first time, uh, they've never seen us before, uh, but just uh, out of curiosity, could you go through your story and how you became to become uh, an entrepreneur? Yeah, well, a lot of times people look at, they see the success that we're having with, you know, Infinite Success University, and, you know, just helping a lot of people. But, you know, I, I've, I've been blessed to have some success in the network marketing industry, but just a little while ago, well, let's say I got introduced to network marketing about five years ago. Yeah. Prior to network marketing, if we go to backstory, I, um, I actually grew up, you know, in a single parent home. My mom raised me and my two sisters by herself. We was like in a drug infested environment, you know. And for those of you who don't know what that is, I mean, people around us smoke crack, sold crack, we, you know, all kind of stuff just to make money, right? So you had two different categories. You had people who worked jobs, and then you had people who sold drugs. And everybody who was working jobs, they typically were broke. I mean, the people who worked all week, I mean, nothing wrong with a job, don't get me wrong, but they worked, worked all week, and we had, what I, when I grew up, we had the candy lady, so we can go in the neighborhood to the candy lady, buy candy, honey buns, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. Little kids like. So every time we used to ask, you know, can we get a dollar or something like that, they used to always say, I'm broke. So even as a young child, I could never figure out how someone who worked all week could be broke. And the ideal job where I lived at was working for the city. So that was the people who, you know, worked on the streets and, you know, did the, you know, picked up the trash and stuff like that. And I was like, nah, I'm going to be rich, man. I didn't know how I was going to do it, but I was like, it, just, it has to be more to life than this. Yeah. So one thing led to another. I started getting involved with my cousins and the guys who I looked up to, you know, started selling drugs at a young age. I dropped out of high school in 10th grade, so I have a ninth grade education and, um, one thing led to another, obviously, after I dropped out, started going, like, full-time in the drug game, right? And um, so I started my first, I like to call it my first um, my pharmaceutical business right. <laughs> right? Uh, without a license. So um, I ended up going to jail, got a felon at a young age, you know, and I, I found myself at 19 years of age locked up in jail. And my first son was born. And I was like, man, something has to change because my dad wasn't around growing up. And I was like, going down this path that I'm going... You know, I'm, I'm, it's kind of like I'm going on the same path. I'm going to be, end up being absent in my son's life. I only had one son at the time. Now I got three. So I was like, okay, something has to change. So I got out, and I was like, okay, i, I got to get a job. I was like, okay, I'm going to do this job thing. I'm going to do this the right way. Let me do this the right way and see what happens. So I was like, okay, I normally need two jobs because I want to make sure I got a lot of money. So I went, obviously a convicted felon, high school dropout isn't going to get the best job. So I... Went and got a job changing oil and tires on, you know, 18 wheelers and stuff like that. And I was looking at the price board one day, and it said every hour I made about three. They, the, every hour the company made about 300 bucks just off the work that I did within that hour. I was only getting paid like eight dollars and fifty cents. Yeah. So I was like, where I'm from, that's called pimping. <laughs> like, okay, I'm out of here. So I went back to what I knew best, but I had a slightly different shift this time. This time I was like, okay, let me use the money that I'm making in the streets and start a business. So, me, no business, no real business in sense. I just had a pat. I love music. I still love music to this day, all different types of music. And I had a, always had a drive. You know, I was always self-motivated, and I can get out and make some things happen. So, I knew some people who were very good when it comes to um, music, rapping, and singing, and entertaining, and stuff like that. So, I said, okay, let me start a company, because I had dabbled in it when I was in school. But I was like, okay, let me start a company, and I promote these artists. So I got my first group that I was working with, a friend of mine who saw me doing my thing in, you know, with my group. He introduced me to his um, cousin who was running the club. So I ended up getting the opportunity to promote at the club as well. So I was like, okay. So I was doing club promotions and artist management. And one day I'm riding home. I was, a friend of mine had called me that day and invited me to his mixtape release party that night. And I was like, okay, I'll come check it out. But by the time it came down to go, I was kind of tired. I was like, I'm just going to go on to the house. So I'm headed on to the house, and I and me, I don't I don't feel like anything happens by mistake. So I was like, I felt like God just led me to this place, you know. I I, I led, I ended up in the club, right? And a guy walks up to me and pitches me on network marketing for the first time. 
You know, he's like, he just tells me he paid 500 to get in. They're getting paid to do this, residual. He just blatantly pitched me. I, was, I always tell people, you can't say the wrong thing, I mean, say the wrong thing to the right person. Yeah, I was the right person. So I was like, okay, what you got? And he was like, well, Tuesday we're doing a meeting. I got one of my mentor, millionaire mentors going to be in town from Nigeria. You got to come meet him before he leaves out. So I'm like, I'm there. So I went, and they started breaking down network marketing. I had never heard of network marketing before. Um, they showed me residual income, how you can make money in your sleep, how you can make money off of what other people do. All you got to do is get two people, and then they'll get two, and then they'll get two, and then they'll get two, and you can make millions of dollars before you know it. You know, they'll give you cars, and you work on the beaches of the world. And I was like, I'm in. I was like, this is legit. And they were like, yeah, I'm in. I was like, I'm in. Perfect. Let's do it. So um, at that time, they was like, well, you need a car. Because I'm like, I'll take cash. And he was like, well, we know we got to use a car. We do it like this. So I'm like, I've never had a bank account. Uh, I don't have a car. Like, what do you mean? So he told me how we get a prepaid card. A couple days later, I got started. Uh, my brother actually joined with me just because I joined. I gave him a couple hundred bucks for him to join. And um, so I was like, this is going to be a piece of cake. One thing, of course, fast forward, it, it was further saying from the truth. Um, everybody was looking at me like I was crazy. They told me I had got tricked into a pyramid scheme, that I got scammed. It was just all bad. So my, my sponsor obviously saw something in me that I didn't see in myself at the time. Because he gave me a laptop. He was like, hey, you're going to need this. So he gave me a laptop. I never had on the laptop. Um, I had to you know, keep it plugged in and all that stuff, which is cool. But he gave me a laptop, and he invited me out to the national conference. So I went to the national conference and was blown away. I was like, okay, they could have tricked me. I'll give them that. But they couldn't have tricked all of these people. So I saw that the industry was real. From that point, I really started studying the industry. Because anytime I do something, I always want to be the best in the world. Ever. So I started studying the industry, studying the best. And, um, and I, start, I came out of the event and I had like a double promotion in my company. You know, I walked the stage at an event, got, you know, got awards or whatever. And, but my thing, it started to plateau. You know, everybody was quitting. I didn't know how to get more people. They said, you're warm market. I had ran through everybody. So what am I supposed to do now? They say, hang out in malls and stuff like that. And I'm like, I ain't really with all that. So uh, somebody on my team invited me to internet marketing. What told me about internet marketing. So I came online. They said, well, you can use the internet to attract people to you. You know, you can use this thing called attraction marketing, and, you know, people actually hit you up, ready to join with the cards out. And I'm like, okay, how do I do it? So I start buying trainings and going to events and getting on webinars to, to learn this stuff. I was committed to learning. I got, like, stacks of notes, like, right here to the right of my desk right now from that day, from all my learning. And I'm actually going to show you since I'm thinking about it. Excellent. Wonderful. So it's pretty ridiculous. So I was, like, immersed. So these are, like... These are like notepads, right? Just from taking notes. That, and that's just one stack. Here's, here's the other stack. So there's like another stack of just notes. And then I got a whole bin of notes, but I'm not going to pull that, all that out. <laughs> but just to give you an idea of when I say I want to do something, I just immerse myself in it. And I'm like, okay, how do I do this? The thing was, I was learning all this information, but I wasn't applying anything. So I quickly went broke because I was just buying and buying and buying because I had bought into this idea that knowledge is power. A lot of times we hear that knowledge is power, but it's really not. It's the applied knowledge that's power. I, I was speaking that career day at my son's school today, and I told him that same exact thing. So that's really what it's all about. So I got into it, and I got into implementation. So I was trying to learn everything. So they said you got to learn social media, blogging, copywriting, SEO, all this different stuff. But when, when I really got it, I picked one thing. I had a mentor that say, pick one thing to focus on. That one thing I focused on was blogging. Yeah. Got a blog up. I didn't have any money to pay nobody to do it, so I just went through like tutorial videos, set my own first blog up. It was horrible, but I got it up. Um, we're getting leads from it. You know, make, got my first few thousand leads online. Um, you know, made my first thousand, couple thousand dollars online from my blog, but I had really got laser focused. Once I got focused on that, then I branched off and started video marketing. So from that point, I mean, we started recruiting reps on a regular. Been blessed to become the number one recruiter in my company out of 50,000 associates. Um, coaching individuals from all across the globe. Uh, we launched Infinite Success University, impacting a whole lot of network markets across the globe. Been blessed to be individuals like yourself, Graham. Um, I, mean, it's, I mean, it's just an awesome journey, man. We launched the I Love Entrepreneurship podcast. 
I mean, it's just been a phenomenal ride, man, and I'm just excited and blessed to still be here. And that's the bridge version. Wonderful, excellent. And I've, I've noticed in the background there, you've got a countless number of books. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm a, I'm an avid I'm an avid learner, man. Like, I got I got that. I got a closet right here with like yeah. a bin there with book. I got to go get another bookshelf. Actually, uh, my wife my wife always tells me you better not order another book every time she comes <laughs> up. I she's like you better not order another book. So um, I got that. I got books behind my laptop right here. I mean, I'm just an avid student. I love learning. I mean, because I my my thing is the best leaders are the best students. So the more I learn, the more I can pour into you. I can pour into anybody else who I come in contact with, doing interviews like these. So I'm always willing to share because I'm always learning. And when I teach what I'm learning, you learn just as much by teaching. So I'm always going to an event. So like next month, I have an event. Um, in April this month, we have an event here in Atlanta. Next month, I'm traveling to Dallas to speak at an event. Um, in June, I'm traveling to Vegas, Vegas to, speak to be, I mean, speak at an event and learn. So even when I'm going to speak, I'm actually going to learn more than anything, because that's I'm always learning, 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 and learning how I can apply this and teach it to other people and impact more lives. So, so yeah, man, I got a ton of books back there. I'm, <laughs> I'm always reading like two or three books at a time. Excellent. What, what book are you reading at the moment? Are you reading one at the moment? Or? Yeah, I got um right now. I'm reading. I'm actually reading two. I'm reading this book called The Big Leap by Gay, by Gay Hendricks, all about how people create like uh, he call he call it the upper limit problem. So anytime. You you have that feeling that if you're feeling good and and something something triggers and then you just all of a sudden get into a bad mood. It's like an upper limit problem that you have like that you gotta that you gotta work on and just being aware of it so you don't sabotage your success. Um, that's by Gay Hendricks called The Big Leap. The other book I'm reading is um it's called The Success Principles by Jack Canfield. Jack Canfield he's the author he's the co-author of Chicken Soup for the Teenage Soul, but he has a book called The Success Principles. It's I missed the new edition of it, so I'm reading that, and I'm also listening to um, this book called um, Rewire. So it's really all about rewiring yourself, you know, changing habits. Cause I'm I'm like real into like neuroscience and learning how the brain works and psychology because all that stuff is marketed. So when you understand why how people tick, why people do what they do, how they make decisions, things of that nature, yeah. it just helps you take your marketing to a whole other level. Excellent. What would you say your top three? books that you've read because I know you've got like I said countless number behind you uh, mm. what are your top three um, that have got you where you are today my top three books okay my number one is I would say the Bible I mean because a lot of like I, I'm really infatuated with like personal development so all these personal development self-help concepts really come back the Bible is like the original source so the Bible is number one um, another one I would say secrets of the millionaire mind is a really good one by T. Harvecker. Another one, Crush It, by Gary Vaynerchuk. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Um, of course, Think and Grow Rich is a must read. Yeah. Um, the greatest salesman in the world, my aunt Mandino. I mean, it's really hard for me to just narrow it down to three, man, but I can go. <laughs> yeah, but no, those don't. Awesome. Uh, and you're an author yourself. You're the author of Cash Flow is King. Yep. Uh, can you just describe what Cash Flow is King is and what it's about? Yeah, definitely. So Cash Flow is King is um it, it's it's called Cash Flow is King, quick and easy strategies to get endless leads and cash flow for your network marketing business while you're building your empire. So basically that'll help eliminate your overhead because businesses, not only network marketing business, but businesses in general, go out of business for two reasons. Number one, they lack cash flow. So they're spending out more money than they're making. So in network marketing, people are always paying these auto ships. They're not selling anything, but they got auto ship coming in every month. They're going to win events. They're spending all this different money, but they're not making any. So they got a lack of cash flow. Number two is they, um, they're, they're, they're cash flow. So number two is they lack a lead flow. They're not getting consistent leads every single day, fresh daily leads to get in front of their business opportunity, their products and services. Yeah. So Cash Flow is King helps eliminate that. It shows you how to get more leads, how to get more money in your business so you can really take your business to a whole other level. Excellent. And I know at the end of this interview, what we're going to be doing is showing you a way uh, of how to get Cash Flow is King for free. Right. Uh, so stick around till the end and uh, we'll show you how to do that. That's great. Yep. Um, now, you mentioned Infinite Success University. How did you come across uh, setting Infinite Success University up and, and what was it intended for? Gotcha. Great question. 
So basically, Infinite Success University is because like I like I'm like um I really found my passion through coaching and training and teaching. Um, so really, it's really a, just a one because I, I got involved in a lot of different systems and stuff like that online. Yeah. Bought a lot of products, and when you come online, you kind of just all over the place. So you're like, okay, let me do this, let me do this. This person telling me to do this. I join this system. I join this. So you're all over the place, but nothing is ever just one stop shop. So I just thought, okay, Infinite Success University. One stop shop, everything under one roof, no upsells, you don't have to keep buying trainings. You can join for one, you know, one 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 investment per month or whatever and get everything. You know, no other trainings to buy, you get access to everything because you're part of the inner circle. And I was like, what if we even amped it up, even took it to another notch where every Monday we do like a group coaching session where I'm on answering questions, it's all about helping you take your business to the next level. So infinite session versus is not just it's not necessarily a, a membership site. It's actually an online coaching program. So you get access to the trainings and you get access to coaching every Monday, which is really that 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 X factor that will really help you take it to the next level. Excellent. Wonderful. Um, and I know you briefly mentioned earlier uh, that you were ranked number one out of 50,000 other associates. Right. Um, what was your, how did you do that? Uh, what system did you use? Um, what mindset was you in at the time to get there? Uh, if you could just elaborate on, on that. Please. So when I when I accomplished that, I and I was telling somebody this the other day. I was talking to one of my coaching clients. So that I was like, when I became the number one recruit in my company, it wasn't even my intention to become the number one recruit. Nothing wrong with it, but that wasn't in my on my focus. In my focus, when I got started in the company I was working with, I was really in a bad spot. You know, my 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 mom had actually she was she was um. She had actually just died from cancer. So when I joined this company, she like a month later, she died from cancer. And um, so I was going through a dry spot in my life. So when I got, I was like, okay, I'm ready to get this done. You know, we had we did the funeral and everything. So let's get this done. So I just came in and got focused because I, I wasn't working. I hadn't been in business. All my funds had kind of dried up. My wife, she was working. And I'm taking care of all the bills and the rent and everything. So I'm like, I got to get laser focused. So I came in the game and I just was focused like, okay, block everything else. And let's get focused. And all I did was every day I did something very, very simple. Every day I emailed my list. Uh, and that's the same thing I teach my coaching clients and everybody in our community. Emailed my list. I did a video. And I was just reaching out to people every day. Reaching out to people on Facebook, on social media. You know, however I can get in front of people. Getting in front of people. Seeing if I could, you know, seeing if they were open. I just hit people up and say, hey, man, you know. Just open. We'll start a conversation, of course, at first. And then I'll say, hey, you know, are you open to a side project that wouldn't interfere with what you're currently doing? And they'll say, well, yeah, what is it? And I'll let them check out the video, and I was just focused on that. I wasn't focused on the results. I didn't care if they joined. All I wanted to see if they were, if they were open. If they are, let's work together. If not, if not, I just kept moving on. And I just really got laser focused. And before I knew it, I was at an event. My sponsor, he's like a, a he's been a millionaire in the network marketing industry for years. When I first came on, got involved in network marketing. He had already, you know, made millions in the industry, and we ended up working together in this company. So I thought he was the when they was giving out the award. I thought he won the number of recruiter, but we was in the back of the room, and he was telling me he was like, "Man, you probably got that." And I was like, "No, nah, I don't think so, man." Then they called him. They called number three, and then they called him for number two. So I'm like, "Well, who got number one?" He was like, "I'm telling you." So number one, Captain, they called me, and I was like, I was blown away. I was like, awesome. that was, wasn't even my intention. So I just really got focused, got disassociated with the result and just man just got to work excellent and and what do you do now then on a, on a daily basis uh, to keep yourself motivated got you so what I do basically is number one I have uh, I always keep my vision in front of me so um, I think I love my my book is upstairs but I um but I always got like my vision very very close to me so for example my, my thing is okay what am I doing this for so I got um so for example, in the morning, I did a video about this the other day. In the morning, I got uh, my 2020-20 formula. So I wake up at five o'clock in the morning. I set my clock for like four fifty. So I get out, I wake up, you know when you first wake up, you kinda kinda shake it off a little bit. Yeah. Get up at four fifty, by the time I shake it off, get my prayer in and brush my teeth, it's a little bit after five maybe, probably about five. Um, I do my exercise about twenty minutes. Um, then I'll go into looking at my plan, looking at my goals for the week for the year my daily goals and uh, my weekly goals and so forth and then my mission so basically you know I'm, my mission is to empower entrepreneurs you know help them hit their their highest level 
um, of their full potential and in income and personally, like from a personal development and business development standpoint. And right now, really focused on helping uh, at least 10 people get to $10,000 a month and then helping 100 people get to about $10,000 a month. And then that really is what gets me fired up. I mean, and then helping people create success stories because that's ultimately over the next year, a couple years or so, we're going to help at least 100 people make 10000 a month. Yeah. And then we're going to go from there over the next five years or so, Next five, we'll say next five years, we're going to help 1,000 people make $10,000 a month. Some people are going to be like, individuals like yourself, you're probably making way more than that. Yeah. But, of course, we're going to be helping people, no matter where they are now, even if they're brand new, Our my vision for our platform is to have people come in brand new and be able to crush it and hit whatever goals there are. So my so that's what really gets me fired up. It's not really about making a certain amount of money because if I help enough people hit their goals, I'll hit my goals easily. So it's really about helping people impact their lives and also creating a legacy for my family so my kids never have to worry about money, you know, worry about, you know, limiting stuff. Just, but there's no limits. We get to travel the world, you know, all this stuff. So every day, so my work, my, my week pretty much looks like this. Every Monday, my day is spent doing interviews. I do interview, I interview people for our, I love entrepreneurship podcast. So I do that like um, like seven or eight interviews on Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, I do coaching. So I work with my coaching clients, and I, so I do coaching, webinars, and stuff like that. And Monday night, we do the ISU members only online coaching session. Yeah. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, I do coaching. And then Thursday night, I do a webinar that anybody can get on. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I pretty much just chill out for the most part. So I pretty much just do that every week. And people say, man, how do you do all of that? And I'm like, my vision dictates that I do it. Yeah. You know, so this is my vision. As a result of my vision, it dictates that I do these activities every day, that I email my list, that I create a video, that I do my coaching class, do my coaching sets, I do the webinars. Are you, do you, are, are you always going to feel like it? No. I mean, you, of course, you could, be, you could want to do something else. But my vision dictates that I do it. So my vision pulls me because I like to see individuals getting the results, having success, getting the checks, quitting their jobs, traveling the world, impacting more people, you know. So my vision dictates that, and we're just getting started. So that's how I'm able to stay fueled. And I tell people, if you're going to be an entrepreneur, you got to be self. You got to be self motivated. You got to have a vision that pulls you, because nobody's going to stand over you. Nobody's going to call you to make sure you're doing what you're supposed to be doing for your family. Yeah. So tell people all the time, your your family should motivate you. Just looking at their faces, and and just the possibility of them not having the lifestyle that they deserve, that should motivate you more than anything. Excellent. I absolutely love it. <laughs> um, so just to wrap this up then real quick, what would you say to our viewers now uh, to, to keep them motivated in the game? Okay, good question. Yeah. So basically what I would tell people is instead of looking for motivation, I would tell them to look for inspiration. Yeah. So, you have to, so inspiration is you have to go inside. Okay, One of my mentors always said, if you're not willing to go within, you're going to have to go without. I'm going to say it again. He says, you, if, you, if you're not willing to go within, you're going to have to be willing to live without. So you have to think inspiration because things are going to happen. But when you have that internal drive, when you have that vision, like if you look in front of me, I'm at my desk right now, literally. So right here, I have my vision board. So let me see if I can turn this around and you still be able to see it. So and my office is a little junky, so excuse me. <laughs> But as you can see, I don't know if you can see that, how good you can see that. Yep. But I got my vision board. You know? So I got my vision board. You see my checklist down there. Yep. Uh, if you look in the back, you can see some trophies and stuff. You see my whiteboard back there with my production goals that, that's, that, I'm, that, I'm, that, I'm, that I must do every day. So that's how I really stay focused and, and making it happen. I have this thing called, it says success. I got it from my mom. It says success. Is waking up in the morning, whoever you are, wherever you are, however old or young, and bouncing out of bed because there's something out that you love to do, that you believe in, that you're good at, something that's bigger than you are, and you can hardly wait to get at it again today. <laughs> that's, so, so that's what I say. Get a vision. Get focused. I do affirmations every day. I'm so happy and grateful that I... I'm so happy and grateful that we have a multi-million dollar business. I'm so happy and grateful that we're effort effortlessly depositing a million dollars into our bank account every month. I'm so happy and grateful that 
we effortlessly deposit five hundred thousand dollars into our investment account every month. I'm so happy and grateful that we've helped a thousand people make ten thousand dollars per month with our Infinite Succession University platform. I'm so happy and grateful that we have a beach home, a four thousand square foot beachfront home on Kapani Beach in Maui, Hawaii. I mean, so you just really get clear on that. I'm so happy and grateful that my, my kids are living their life purpose, doing what they want to do whenever they want to do it with no limitations. You know, so that's what fires me up, man, and seeing individuals just grow and blossom and have success and get a vision. I tell people, a why isn't big enough. A why you a why is cool. But when you have a vision, that pulls you. That make people say, How do you get up at five o'clock in the morning? I went to bed last night at about one. Was back up at four fifty. I was back up like right about so I slept well about four hours because I had to get up. I had to I know I had to do my twenty twenty formula. And I had to get my kids ready. And then I had to be at my son's school to speak for career day. And then I did, I get from there. And then I had to come back, get pick, my, pick up my wife. And then we um, grabbed something to eat. I had to fight back through traffic to get here to make sure we got this interview done. <laughs> then at five, uh, after a little, in about an hour or so, I got a coaching session. And then tonight we got a webinar. So people always say, how do you get it done, man? You're like a machine. What happened? I'm like, my vision dictates it. It's not an option. If not, I'll tell people, if not this, what? People say, have you ever thought about quitting? Yes, I have. But if not this, what? Yeah. If I do this, if I don't make this happen, what? Go get a job <laughs> and work there for 50 more years, retire from there, and had to go get another job and just work till I'm dead, and then my family still struggles, and I leave them with nothing but debt? It's not an option for me. I, it, I must do this. Excellent. Wonderful. Uh, so I know, as we said, uh, throughout this interview, uh, where we're going to give the viewers uh, a link to click on for uh, Cash Flow is King. Right. Uh, so for all the viewers that are watching this right now, there will be a link uh, in the description to this video where you can click uh, and download that for free. Uh, absolutely free, 100%. Um, Mark Well, just to wrap this up, it has been an honour uh, having this conversation, it uh, it's been amazing, and I'm looking forward to seeing you soon in Atlanta. Um, I can't <laughs> wait to get over there. It's going to be great. I'm looking I'm looking forward to coming to the UK, man. So I'm, I'm yeah. excited. I'm excited about everything you're doing, man. You're helping a lot of people. You're inspiring a lot of people, man. I'm just so excited for you. I, 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 I'm I'm just glad to be connected with you. I know we're going to do some amazing things together, help a whole lot of people. And I'm looking forward to doing maybe an ISU event in the UK or something. Coming over to hang out with you. Excellent, wonderful. <laughs> Work, so, Markwell, thank you very much uh, for agreeing to come to this interview. No and, problem. Uh, awesome. Thank you very much, and I hope to speak to you soon. Absolutely. Excellent. Right, wonderful. Thank you.